Good morning, third grade. Today is Wednesday, April 29th, 2020. And see it on a calendar? We are right there. So Wednesday the 29th. One more day, and then we'll be in May. So Wednesday the 29th. Okay, let's start off with our prayers. So put someone in your mind or some people in your mind that you want to pray for. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, thoughts, joys, and sufferings of this day. In union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, I offer them for all the intentions of your sacred heart. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, guys, we need to get our spelling books out. <clears throat> and turn to page 202 and 203. So our last two pages for this unit, and our test will be tomorrow. All right, so let's take a look at page 202. Spelling test practice. Test tip. Skip the hard questions. Go back to them later. Directions. Find the phrase containing an underlined word that is not spelled correctly. If all the underlined words are spelled correctly, mark all correct. So let's take a look at the example. We have A, plastic helmet. B, window ledge. C, never forget. And D, dairy farmer. Or E, all correct. So take a look at those underlined words. Are there any spelled incorrectly? Yes, there is. A, helmet, should be spelled H-E-L-M-E-T. Good job, helmet. All right, now, so you're going to do that for A through, or sorry, <laughs> 1 through 8, and mark your answers here on the practice test paper. And then over on to eating out, life skills, eating out. Write the words from the box to complete this personal narrative. If you need to, you can use your spelling dictionary. Okay, so eating out. That's something that we hope we can do soon, right? I know I wish I could. I know we get takeout, but not. that's not the same as going to a restaurant and sitting with your family. Um, so hopefully we can do that soon. All right, guys, do both those pages. Pause the video and come back. All right, guys, let's look at number one. So we have a paper napkin. B, mail order, C, almost new, D, <clears throat> circus tent, or E, all correct. It would be E, all correct. Number two, F, Sunday morning, G, one person, H, famous singer, J, fruit market, or K, all correct. You should have marked J, fruit market is spelled incorrectly, M-A-R-K-E-T. No C. Number three, A, great artist, B, small problem, C, tan carpet, D, left elbow, or E, all correct. You should have marked B, small problem, P-R-O-B-L-E-M. Number four, F, soft powder, G, Monday night, H, under the bed, <clears throat> or J, round balloon, or K, all correct, it should be H under the bed, U-N-D-E-R. All right, number five, A, after school, B, the center, C, large basket, D, enjoy the most, or E, all correct, it should be A, after school, A-F-T-E-R. Number six, F, until later, G, no excuse, H, big circle, J, vegetable garden, or E, or sorry, K, all correct. 
So it should be J Vegetable Garden, G A R D E N. Number seven, A Powerful Storm, B Cute Puppies, C Grinning Child, D Friendly Cat, or E All Correct. It should be B Cute Puppies. So P U P P I E S. Got to change that Y to I. Number eight, F Warm Jacket. G, loud squeak, H, one o'clock, J, far away place, or K, all correct. And you should have marked K, all correct. All right, let's go over to page 203, <clears throat> eating out. Last weekend, my family went out to eat at a new restaurant. A man gave each of us a menu that listed the foods we could order for dinner. Mom, Dad, my brother, and I each picked our favorite food. Then a friendly waiter came to our table and took our orders. We all enjoyed our meals. After dinner, we had ice cream for dessert. Dad left some money on the table. This tip was his way of saying thank you for good service. All right, guys. Unit 31 test is tomorrow. Just those numbers 1 through 18, okay? Okay. So just study page 198. Remember, no vocab words. All right, guys. I'll talk to you in a little while. Bye.